Hello there everybody, my name is Richard McMunn and in this training video I'm going to teach you how to pass your university admissions interview and in particular I will provide you with a host of sample questions and also suggested answers. So please do watch the video from beginning to end because I feel confident it will help you to pass. So my name is Richard McMunn, that's me there on the right hand side. I'm the founder of the interview and career guidance training company howtobecome.com and as I say in this particular video, we're going to focus specifically on getting you through your university interview. Please also take note of the suggested answers that I'm going to provide within this tutorial. So take notes um, and then you can apply them during your preparation. Please also do subscribe to the CareerVid channel by clicking the red button below that video. And that way you are not going to miss out on any of the free resources that I am now uploading every week. If you do like this tutorial, and in particular the questions and answers, I'd very much appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up, as that always motivates me to do more. Okay, let's get straight into the university interview questions and answers tutorial. So one of the questions you are most likely to get asked during your university admissions interview is why do you want to study your chosen subject? So... A couple of tips before I give you a suggested answer. Do not say that someone else thought it would be a good idea for you to study the subject or that it was chosen for you. It has to be your choice. So you've considered the pros and cons of the subject, but essentially you've taken responsibility for that particular subject. Mention the fact that your chosen subject will have a longer lasting impact simply because it aligns to your future career plans. OK, really important. That doesn't mean to say you have to have a definitive idea of what you want to do later on, but you are confident that the subject that you're studying is going to have an impact because it aligns with your future plan. So here's my sample response for the university interview question. Why do you want to study your chosen subject? I want to study this subject because I have a genuine belief I can succeed. But more importantly, I have a genuine passion for the subject that means I actually enjoy learning and immersing myself in my studies. I guess for some students, they simply want to obtain the qualification, but I actually feel the benefit to me will be long lasting as my eventual career goals very much align with this subject matter. So that's a short and punchy response that can be used in any kind of university interview for the question, why do you want to study your chosen subject? Let's move on to question two. Why have you chosen this university? And here are two tips before I give you a suggested answer. So do not mention anything related to the nightlife or the fact it is located in a nice scenic area. Make reference to the university's strengths in respect of their learning facilities and also the teaching and support that is available. So here is my suggested answer. During my studies and research, I found out as much as possible about the university's approach to learning. From that research and also from speaking to other students, the department's approach to learning makes me feel confident that I'll be given the best support whilst I am here. I also understand you have great learning facilities here at the university that will mean I have every chance of succeeding. So you are focusing your response entirely on the university and what it can do for you. Really important. OK, next question. Which part of your A-level studies did you find the toughest? Now, two tips for answering this question. Do not mention finding the time to study or the workload was the toughest. Instead, state that you enjoyed studying and learning more about the subjects themselves. Now, a strong response is one that is relevant to the initial planning stage of your studies, but that this then eased once you got into a routine. So you are giving um, an element of um, the studies that were tough, but you are then saying once you get into the swing of it, um, you found it easier. So here's my sample response for you. I did find the initial planning stage of the studying quite difficult at first. It was difficult simply because I'd never had to create a plan before that ensured all of my study work was thorough, on point and complete. However, after a few weeks of utilising my study plan, it became much easier and I actually enjoyed following a study structure because it gave me a feeling that I was continually moving forward towards my study goals. Next question. What's your biggest achievement and why? So here we go. Choose an achievement that is quite recent and also one that demonstrates you are what is called a completer finisher. So the reason why they are asking you this interview question during your university interview is because they want to see a track record of achievement because then you're more likely to finish your studies. 
So if you are a completer finisher, you are somebody who gets things done and you seize them through to the end. So you persevere. It is okay to state that your A-level grades are your greatest achievement, but if you do use these as an example, explain how the achievement has impacted you on a positive level, and here's how to do that. It would have to be my A-level results and how I improved throughout the two-year study period. To be honest with you, some people didn't expect me to do particularly well in a couple of the subjects, but I knew that if I worked hard, dedicated quality time to study, and also immersed myself in a subject I could do well. My results have had such a positive impact on my attitude to work and study in general, and now I have the self-belief that I can go a long way in both my education and also my long-term career plans. So that demonstrates that you can get things finished, you have the self-belief and confidence, and you know, more importantly, that if you work hard, success will always follow. Next interview question, explain how you intend to study during your time at university. Two important tips. Make sure you have a plan in place of how you intend to study during your time at their university. Now, explain to the interview panel that quality study is far more effective than simply hours and hours of time with your head in the books. More importantly, tell the panel what works for you in terms of study, as this then shows you've already considered your study plans for university. So here is my suggested answer to the interview question. Explain how you intend to study during your time at university. Here we go. I believe I know myself pretty well now in terms of what works for me while studying. I'm a firm believer that quality study is far more effective than simply sitting there reading for hours upon end. For me, quality study involves creating mind maps and also writing down the key learning points from each lesson. I also find that I am more effective at studying during the evening. This is a time of day my concentration levels are at their greatest, as I found out during revision for my A-levels. I already have a plan in place for making sure my studies are effective and that I make the most of my time at university. Okay, next question for your university admission interview. What are your main interests outside of education? Now, this question is designed to assess what you do outside of education because what you do outside can have an impact on your study time. So make sure you answer the question carefully. Now, my advice is to pick out the positive aspects of your external hobbies, interests and activities and then say why you think they are of benefit to your time at university. So you're providing a smart and intelligent response to this question. So here is my suggested answer for the interview question. What are your main interests outside of education? I like to keep myself physically fit and spend time running a few times a week. Now, whilst I am not a fitness fanatic, I do feel that by keeping myself physically fit, my mental attitude and my mindset are also in a good place too, which I feel helps my studies. I also enjoy reading non-fiction, and I have actually just finished reading the book James O'Brien's entitled How to Be Right in a World Gone Wrong, which I actually found insightful, funny and educational. I like to read self-development books simply because they give me a wider insight into what's possible in the world and how I can develop my mind to achieve my future goals. Now, of course, if you do read a book, so if you're saying you're going to read a book or you have to make sure that you have done, that you know about it, because they could, they could say to you, oh, that's an interesting book. I read it. What did you think of this part? So you don't want to get caught out there. Next question. How do you feel about your A-level results? Now, this question is designed to assess your level of honesty, whether you are aware of your weaknesses and also whether or not you are a person who takes responsibility for their own learning. Now, if you feel you could have done better, just say so. Don't blame anyone else, anyone else or any external factors for not doing as good as you thought you could. Now, the best answer to this question is to be reflective of your own performance and then move forward. And this is how you do that. Overall, I was relatively pleased with my results, but I could have done better. Now, although I dedicated lots of time to study and I followed a dedicated study plan, I had underestimated the study required for one particular subject. Now, whilst I did pass with a good grade, I could have done better. I learned a lot from my grades, and although I was satisfied overall, I know I will need to work hard and improve if I am to be successful at university. You are only as good as your last exam result, and now is the time to focus again with a fresh mindset and lots of hard work and commitment. So that shows that you are positive, you are honest, and you are taking responsibility for your results. So next question, what can you bring to the university? 
So a couple of tips. Being at university is obviously a two-way thing. So you get to study with, hopefully, a fantastic lecturers and facilities, and the university gets a top successful student in yourself. So give an answer that demonstrates maturity and intelligence. Make sure you focus on your ability to contribute academically and organisationally, but do not mention things such as, you know, oh, I've got a great sense of humour, I can drink loads down the pub, or also how good you are at team sports. Now, here is my suggested answer to the university interview question, what can you bring to our university? I understand that being at university is an important part of my development, but the U2 want students who are going to work hard, achieve and be a positive role model in the process. I will bring an ability to work hard, a desire to contribute positively, whether that's being part of a recognised club or society within the university, and also being part of the wider academic debate during lectures and discussions in general. I feel I have a lot to offer. I can assure you I will contribute positively if I am successful. So that's a great answer to that question. Now, if you want more um, university interview questions and answers, if you click the link below the video, it will take you through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can get free 30 days access to my online interview training course. And that will help you with interview technique. There's over 50 sample questions and answers. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please say hi in the comments section below. If you have any questions about the university interview, or if you need any help in general answering the questions, please put them in the comments section below the video, and I'll come on here each day and I will answer those questions for you. Thank you very much for watching, and I genuinely hope you pass your university, you, sorry, your university interview. Thank you.